So this is in Cottage Grove in Oregon, just yes. next to Cottage Grove, if you want to look it up. Up in the wilderness. On like Google Maps. But it was like middle of nowhere, no cell phone reception, no running pl- water, no, no, running, no electricity, no, electricity, no uh, plumbing, literally the middle no of nowhere. No cell phone service. No cell phone service. Nope. And so what we would do no is... No real house. There was a yurt. If you if you want to see a picture of the yurt, I think we have a picture of the yurt. A yurt is like a nice tent. Circular. It's kind of like a... Nice tent. Wooden framed tent. Yeah. Um, that's and it had round. a bed. And so we slept on the bed. And it had mice and rats. And... We'd find mice poop. A weird stove that we never used because we found out after they built it that the kerosene or something would hurt you the more you bre- breathe the air that it oh, really? burned yes oh. Oh. and then and it was kind of a a abandoned building that was used when they first bought that property and yeah. that was the place they were living but they were building a kind of newer dwelling i wouldn't even say a house it was a dwelling yeah <laughs> a uh, primitive dwelling no electricity no running water just... my mom called it the snail shell yes and it was like a circular form but it kind of came out Yes. In, in the middle. In a snail shell Form. shape. Yes. And we'd, we'd cut down trees and we'd haul hay. Oh, we, we were made helping cob. Them. Yes. So it was kind of. That was, was fun. I it like was a cob that. house. So we would yes. take sand and clay and straw, straw and, and water. water and we'd put it on a big tarp. Sorry, yep. I bumped your mic. That's okay. We put it on a big tarp and then we'd stomp on it with bare feet. It was very, very primitive, but also. That it was, was kind fun. of therapeutic and fun. Yeah. Like I actually really I liked enjoyed it. doing that too. Oh, and you learned how to make a fire. Yes. That with summer. A bow with a bow drill. drill. Yep. Because my mom is She's very She's very hippie ish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. No no offense if my mom's listening to this. I don't know if she will. I or think not. she would agree. I do. Yeah. I'm not saying anything I don't think she would say okay. about herself. <laughs> She's just very all natural, uh, yes. live off the land, hugging the trees. Totally. Like but but I like that. Like there's yeah. nothing wrong. I think that's cool. That's why you wanted to be there. And it's it feels very peaceful. Like, yes. There's something fun about being in nature and living so, in nature. Let me ask you a question. So hang on. Oh, okay. Before okay. you progress, I want to talk about you building a fire. I all I remember is that I learned how to build a fire. So <laughs> like, if you're not familiar with a bow drill, you've got like a couple pieces of wood and you, a spindle. Yeah, a spindle and two pieces of wood and you've and got then you a, have bow, this, a bow. That just has like a, a bow and arrow. It's like string a string on it a bended piece of wood with a string connecting it yeah and then you wrap the spindle around the string and then you get on your knees and you just kind of rock it back and forth really really fast with the bow and on one side you have soap that that lubricates the top the top of the spindle and then the bottom of the spindle has a little notch with a piece of where you're supposed to burn through right and then the notch has like some it makes a tiny coal the more you rub the wood together right some moss or something that burns really easily And so, uh, and then you have to like go really, really fast. And then you have yep. to get down and you have to blow it and get the coal going. It's very labor intensive. But and then you get the coal. It's so worth it when you get a fire. And you put it, in, it inside some like dry leaves. Yes. And then you hold it like a little baby and you just blow until the smoke yes. goes. And then it just bursts into flames. And you just built a fire yeah. using a bow drill. And you did it. And I was I so it. proud of you. Really? Yeah. I did a lot of things that summer that you were very proud of, I think. And making the cob. And we built a we built an oven, a, like a sand, a sand earth bit. oven. Yep. To be able to cook Kind in. of like a pizza oven. Kind of like that. But that um, was really cool. Like, yeah. I don't know. So, like, I know it was really hard being in the woods and having okay. the baby. And we can talk about that. Yes. But I also want to say that that there were some good things. There were some good things. And there were some good hard lessons. Uh,